Hey campers, Judith here, back again with another technology tip. Have you ever wanted to demonstrate something to your students um, using your web browser, but it caused you all kinds of headaches because you were logged into all of your own accounts and it was too scary or too intimidating or too much work to have to clear your cache and log out of all of your accounts just to be able to capture the steps that you wanted to share with your students. Well, there's actually a feature within your web browser called private browsing, or I'm in Chrome right now, it's called incognito browser, that will allow you to have a temporary fresh slate within your web browser to be able to log into accounts um, from scratch and not compromise anything that you have logged yourself into in your primary browser. I just had to do this myself because I wanted to capture a video of myself doing something in our Mighty Networks community to be able to share with all of you. And I was logged into my Mighty Networks account and I didn't want to log out of it um, for so many reasons. <laughs> I'm scared I can't log back in or I'll forget my password and have to go through the authentication process again. Um, maybe it seems inconvenient. There's just lots of reasons why I wouldn't want to do that. Um, so instead, to be able to create a second test student account, to be able to demonstrate to all of you how I do this, I use the incognito browser. So how I do this is I go to the three dots in my menu. I say new incognito window, but again, it might be called private browser, depending on the type of browser that you use. And now it tells me that I've gone incognito. This means that I have a clean slate. Anything that I go to, um, I will have to log in from scratch or create a new account. So if I um, needed to log into Mighty Networks or into my email, um, I would not have access to accounts that I'm already logged into. Uh, I would have to input that information from scratch, which can be a very handy thing. So hopefully this helps you out with um, some of the work that we'll be doing later on in camp where you will be creating um, videos and content for your students to help support them in your online courses.